So, chapter four, lesson five, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Now, on your quiz yesterday, the last one on your quiz was doing that. Did you notice that? And it's something we haven't talked about yet. That's okay. I just wanted to see if you could solve it. Okay? I did not count it as a point. Even if you got it right, I did not count as extra credit. I just wanted to see what you could do for that one. Okay? So if you got it wrong, no big deal. Some of you worked diligently on that one. I know, I know, I know. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That shows me that you want to try to get the right answer. Uh, so when we show our tests and stuff, or when I show you your quiz and stuff, we'll, we'll talk about number 12, or number, I think it was number 10. So first of all, let's talk about kind of what we've done in the past. We have 1 6 plus 1 3rd. Now what do I have to do to solve this problem, Jacob? i got to have a common denominator. What can I use? 6. Very good. I have to use 6. Now, if I change the denominator, do I have to change the numerator? I still have people that say, well, I don't know what to do with the numerator. Okay? Tell me what you need to do to this numerator. Tell me what you got to do. Who knows? Anybody? Henry? Exactly. And some of you did this, probably. Some of you do that? Okay, that's great. But I do it in my head. I do it in my head. I say, okay, I know I took 3 times 2, so I know I got to take 1 times 2. Okay? And then you got to add them together. What did you get when you added them together? Mr. Augustine, what did you get? Yeah, and then what do you got to do? Yeah, I'm going to reduce to 1 half. Don't forget to reduce if you can reduce. Don't forget. All right, what about this one? Somebody else talked to me. Somebody I haven't heard from yet today. Jasmine? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like this. Well, this is an easy one. Well, what do you get for an answer? 124. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Um, in your homework, you saw negatives and positives and all that good stuff, though, right? Uh, we're going to see those again today. So make sure you're taking good notes and uh, doing some examples in your notebook for me. The first thing I want to talk about is an improper fraction, how to make it into something into an improper fraction. Okay, so if I have a mixed number, I want to make this into an improper fraction. I think you've already got this in your notes somewhere, so you don't need to write it down again. Okay, but let's talk about this. If I have 5 and 1 6, how can I make that into an improper fraction, Kaylee? Okay. Yes, do you see what I have going on here? 6 times 5 plus that 1. This would be 31 over 6. Does everybody remember how to do something like that? Let's do a few practice problems on those. Come on. Change these for me into improper fractions in your notebook. I need to open some windows. The only part that could get you in trouble here is if you don't know your what. Your back, your multiplication back. Some people have troubles with their nines. I have one kid, Carver, ruling. He always has trouble with five, what, what is it? Six? Eight times seven. He can never remember eight times seven. <laughs> That's the easy one, though. You know how five, six, seven, eight. That's the easy one. Yeah, me too. Five or seven times eight is... 56, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's an easy one to remember. Uh, 
Yeah, he always has trouble with that one. He just asked me again the other day what that was. So, all right, let's talk about some of these. Okay, so first I'm going to do 8 times 7, 56, plus that 3, 59 over 7. Okay, this one, 9 times 2, 18, plus that 1, 19 over, that should be a 9. And then what about this one over here? 35 times that, plus that 6 is 41 over 7. Any questions on how to do this? Because you might want to do this today. There's a few different ways to add, uh, to add and subtract mixed numbers, and this is one way to use improper fraction. I don't. Is that what you did last year? Do you remember? Did you change everything to improper fraction and then add and subtract? Okay. All right. I'm going to teach you another way too. Can I go to the next slide? Pretty good. All right. So here's the first way to add or subtract mixed numbers. I'm going to show you two ways. I want you to choose whichever way you like the best. Okay? So the first way is to do this. Focus on the fractions first. Add the fractions together. Okay? And then worry about your whole numbers last. Okay? Now let me show you. Let's do one-fourth plus three-eighths. I know i got to change this, right? So it would be eight, two-eighths plus three-eighths is what? Five-eighths. Okay, and then I'm going to add these two. It should be 7. So then I'm going to put that 7 and 5 eighths up here. That's the first way to add them. Okay, does that look familiar to anybody? Did you do that a little last year? Maybe not. Maybe you changed them all to improper fractions, and that's fine. That's the next way I'm going to show you. Okay, does anybody still need this slide? Okay. do whatever way you feel the most comfortable with. It's not what matters to me. say, since you're just wasting some of your waiting, let's say that I added them together and it had 1 and 5 eighths. Then what would I do? What am I going to do with that 1 and 5 eighths? I have to add that 1 to that whole number, right? Okay, so don't forget that too. If you have 1 and 5 eighths, oh, and I still have to add that 3 fourths together, or 3 and 4, I get 7, but I have to add that 1 and 5 eighths to it too. But we'll talk about that later. Good? Okay. All right, so... Let's practice one of these together using that first way I just told you, okay? Some of your problems are going to be up and down like this. Some of them are going to be across like I just had them. You, if you ever need to add them together, set them up how you want to see them. Would you rather have them up and down or across? It's totally up to how you ever you want to do it. So first thing we're going to do, let's, I'm going to just, remember, let's just draw a line because I'm going to focus on this side first. So one-fifth needs to be in the same denominator as tenths. So let's make that tenths. Now let's add them together. So two plus four is six. Tenths, can I reduce? Yeah, by two, so it'll be three-fifths. Now let's add this side together. Tenths, so tenths. kind of like the way I like to do it, because sometimes I don't like to mess with improper fractions. Sometimes that takes a long time. And if I have to change the denominator on top of that, then I have to change the numerator. So sometimes I feel like this can be the quickest way for you. Yep. I know, I agree. Sometimes improper fractions are huge, and you're, you're, yeah, I have to figure out what that top numerator is, and sometimes they're huge. Yeah, you just don't know. The only problem is you got to remember, though, like, sometimes this will be over 1, right? Like, if I add this together, this might be over 1. So you have to take that whole then, and you got to add it to this side. Jacob, 
Okay. Okay. All right, so here's the second way. Tell me you like this way better, and you, that's fine. I'm going to show you the second way. The second way is to make into improper fractions, subtract or add or whatever you need to do, and then make back into a mixed number again. So you're kind of making a circle. You start with a mixed number, you change to improper fractions, you add or subtract, do what you need to do, then come back and make an improper or er, mixed number. That's totally up to you. I'm going to wait to, if you're writing some of these steps, I'm going to wait to start this problem because I want to move the page down. All right, should we start the problem? Should we work on it together? So according to my thing, first I got to, I'm going to make improper fractions, but what I would do first is I would make like denominators first. Okay, so let's make a like denominator. We know this has to be what? An 8? So let's make it 8, 4 eighths. Cross that out. Now let's make some improper fractions. 8 times 6. 48, 49, 50, 51 over 8. Okay, minus 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 4 is 28 over 8. Okay, is everybody following? Okay, let me know if you need if you need me to slow down. So now I can subtract. Just like normal, I know my bottom is going to be 8. Then I got to do this thing on the side. 51 minus 28. Is that right? Okay. 23 over 8. But I'm not done yet, because with my last part of this, I have to make it back into what? I gotta go both, yeah, I gotta go make it back into a mixed number. So 23 divided by 8 is 2. 16, 7, so 2, 7, 8. Can I reduce? So you got your idea of what you want to do in your head? Okay. Got your idea of what you feel more comfortable with? Okay. I am going to give you two, uh, let's do these together, shall we? Let's do these together. Uh, how many of you like to do uh, improper fractions? You want to keep it the whole, the whole, okay. So with subtracting, what can happen with subtracting? You maybe have to do what? Borrow or regroup? Or, well, I don't know what you guys call it. What do you guys call it? Borrowing? Some people call it regrouping. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite these for myself because I like to see them on top of each other. I have them lined up like this. I don't know about you. You can do whatever you want. Minus two and one fifth. If I look at this problem, what do I have to do here, Jasmine? I don't, I can't, something, I can't do anything there. What do I got to do, Jasmine? Okay, so this is where my regrouping comes in, right? Okay, I'm going to make this into seven. Yeah, I took that hole, remember, a core, I, how do I know what the hole was, though? How do I know it's five fifths? How do I know that, Kaylee? Yep, so I know the whole is 5 fifths. Nice job. So 5 over 5 
Is this really eight though, if I look at it? Yeah, this is one and that's, yeah, so that's really eight. Now can I subtract? Yeah. Um, let's see, I get four, six, I get five plus six. Nice job. Way to go. Way to go. Same thing over here. See if you can do this one by yourself. See if you can do this one by yourself. 10 minus 6 is 2 thirds. Okay, you're going to have to do what? You're going to have to regroup or borrow here from that 10. from this 10, it becomes a what? A 9. Then what do I have over here then? 3 thirds, subtracting. Okay. I'm going to do one more with you quick. You don't need to write it down. I just want you to watch. Okay. Let's pretend this is 10 and a third. Let's say it looks like this. What do I need to do here, Zane? I still need to borrow, because why? Because can I do one minus two? No, I can't do that, so I still need to borrow. So we're gonna take that and make it a nine and then keep going. So I, so when I take that, it becomes a three over three, right? Yep, and then I have to add it to that one because I have to help that one out. I need to add something to that one so I can subtract. So then it becomes what, four? And then I become two thirds and three and two thirds. Okay, does everybody see? Does everybody understand when you have to borrow? All right. Woohoo. Um, let's see. A few more I want to go over, though, with you. I don't think we have any negatives today. That is so nice. Oh, there's one. That's okay. Should we do some practice? I'm going to give you a few. Ready? Do some practice on your, your notes. Or I don't even care if you guys want to get marker boards and do it on my marker boards. Want to do that? Okay. So you want to grab Merrick one? Josie, you grab Merrick one? Don't rip your, your bottle. Got a mark for Merrick? Okay. All right, you ready to try one? Let's try this one. Do you want me to set them up and down or across? What would you rather see? Up and down? Okay. I'm going to give you an easy one to start off with. Give you an easy, easy one to start with. Don't erase your work on your board, okay? Keep it all on your board. I don't want you to erase it. And you probably could do some of this in your head. That's fine. Instead of telling me the answer, I want you to talk me through it step by step. Somebody haven't heard from yet today. Cadence. Okay. 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 That's all right. Okay. Yep. We're going to.
going to, what did you simplify by? Do you remember? Okay. And you got 8 and 3. Of course. We good? All right. Now let's get a little harder. All right, Joe, is he going to talk me through what you did? All right, tell me what you did. Yeah, you did. Good job. Two, ten. I'm going to cross that out. Very good. Okay, two plus three, five, ten. Very good. And then you got seven and a. Nice job, people. All right, let's do some subtracting, shall we? Nice job. See a lot of good answers, you guys. These are pros at this. You know, some figures can know their fractions are really good. Okay, ready? Who haven't I heard from yet today? from everybody. All right, Henry, give it to me. What do you got? Okay. 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 Everybody agree? Nice job. Should we do a harder one? All right, here we go. This is what you're going to see in your homework today what you're going to see in your homework today. You know what? Before we do a really hard one, let's do one where we have to regroup. Okay? To make sure we're all on the same page there. <laughs> then I'll give you the really hard one. That's a three, by the way.
Okay. Who haven't I heard from yet today? Merrick, you gonna talk me through it? All right, tell me what you got. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be five then, right? Because you had to add that four fourths to that. Okay, so I, that's not 51, by the way, that's five. So I got two, correct? Okay. Very good. By two, I think. Okay. Very good. Everybody agree? All right, here's your hard one. You ready? Last one. See if we can get it. I'm going to have to write it this way, okay? But you can write it however you want. Just watch first. Oh, this is going to be tough. That's right. Okay, so what do you see up here? How many are you doing? Three, right? What would you do first? I'd probably go from left to right. I'd probably do these two first. And then I get my answer and then subtract. You can do whatever you want first. Oh, yeah, if you want to do that one with one six first, that's maybe a good idea. Look at this. Look at what Cadence noticed. What's happening here? We already have the same denominator. So we don't even have to worry. So it's up to you what you want to do. Some different answers though. Answer, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of different answers. So that makes me wonder what the answer is. Should we try it? Should we see what's going on? Ready? Should we see where you're stumped? Henry, what would you do first? Okay. That's just fine. So you did six and one fourth plus two and three six. Okay, what else did you do? Times two times two would be six. So then you got nine twelve. Okay. And then you got eight and nine twelve. Okay. Then you minus one six. So eight and nine twelve. Some of you added one six, so check that out. Minus one six. 
and this became 12, 2, 12, so 7, 12, 8, 7, 7, 12. Do you want me to do it if you go left to right? Or do you want me to do it if you did this, these two first? You want me to do that? So I already know I'm going to do these. I'm going to subtract these two first. Because Kate has noticed right away that they have the same denominator. She was, she was going to get that out of the way. So she did that. She got one. Ooh, that's not what, that's not what I want. She got one and two six, right? And then you had to do six and one fourth minus one and two six. Some of you added, so be careful. So six and one fourth minus one and two six. You had to make common denominators times 2, times 2, times 3, times 3. Are we doing this right? Oh, I was adding. Oh, my gosh, my bad. Because I, I already subtracted. I'm sorry, I already subtracted. Oh. You know what? I'll do that one at the end. I usually do my simplifying totally at the end. So 2 times 3. So then I get 5, 12, 7. Very good. Nice job. Thanks for catching my error. I already subtracted already. I don't need to do it again. Goodness. Questions for me today? Is this wrong yet? Yeah. What? Tell me. Oh, my gosh. Ah, right here. Somebody speak up. The only way I know. You know how I noticed? Connor looked back at Ryan like, she's crazy. That's how I noticed. I'm like, mm, this still isn't right, is it? Speak up. I make mistakes, too. It's okay. Speak up.